Hi guys, welcome to the first video of 2011 for techmadeeasy.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install XBMC onto an Ubuntu Linux machine. Now, unfortunately, you can't do it via the Ubuntu Software Center. What you have to do is go to Accessories, open the terminal, which is like the DOS prompt on a Windows machine, and then it's just a case of typing in a few commands. So the first one is sudo space add hyphen apt hyphen repository space ppa colon team hyphen xbmc and what that will do is add the uh, xbmc servers to your system so it knows um, where the xbmc data is the next command is sudo space apt hyphen get space update and what that will do is check all its online repositories to see what packages are available. The third command is sudo space apt hyphen get space install space xbmc. And what that will do is uh, it will prompt you to say yes or no, do you want to install it? If you select yes, it will go and download all the additional files that are required for xbmc, unpack them and install them onto your Linux machine. Now it'll just take a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection and you'll know when it's finished because it will come back to the, um, the prompt for you to type in more commands, like so. Uh, and then one other thing you can do, it's completely optional, you don't need to do it to run XBMC for Linux, is if you press the up arrow on your keyboard you'll get the last command you entered. So it says sudo space apt hyphen get install XBMC if you then put a hyphen and type standalone and hit enter, it'll install a further package which will allow you to boot into XBMC without having to go to the Ubuntu desktop first. So if you only want to use the PC purely for XBMC, it's a good way of doing it. So we're finished in the terminal now, you can just close that. And just to show you within Ubuntu, if you click the applications menu, drop down to sound and video, XBMC Media Center is now listed. So if you click that, it will open XBMC, and of course you can use it from there. I'll just close it for now, because just to show you quickly, if you log out of your Ubuntu session, let it get back to the login screen, and then select your user, type in your password, and then before you hit enter or click on log on, down here you can see it says Ubuntu Desktop Edition. If you hit the downward arrow, you can select XBMC from there and then hit Login. And what it will do is load XBMC without going to your desktop first. It just takes a few seconds. There you go. But now you'll find that if you reboot your machine, and this will take just a few seconds to do, it shuts down as normal, it will come back up, but rather than go into your Ubuntu desktop, it will go straight into XBMC. So there you go, straight in, we didn't have to go to our Ubuntu desktop, we didn't have to log in. So if you only want to use your PC for XBMC, install the XBMC-standalone package and it will let you do that. Uh, I hope that's been helpful for you guys. If you need any more uh, help, send me a message or leave a comment down below or a comment on the website and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks guys.